WNY News Now is sponsored by Chautauqua Audio Works, 3335 South Roberts Road in Fredonia. More than a music store. Call 679-4333. Call now, 679-4333. Now at noon, family and friends of a missing baby's mother speak out. A Jamestown man is in custody after allegedly striking a victim with a baseball bat. And I'm Dakota Hunter in the First Defense Weather Center. It's still going to be chilly today, but at least we'll see some sunshine. But the 70s return for late next week. We'll talk about it coming up. And good news for women with breast cancer. Live and on demand from the WNY News Now studios in downtown Jamestown. This is News Now at Noon. And welcome to News Now at Noon. I'm Justin Gould. A live look at our third street camera where it's 69 degrees and some sun peeking through the clouds. All of our top stories are coming up in just a moment. But first, we check in with Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. Hey, Dakota. Hey, good Tuesday, Jay, and we finally made it through Monday. How about that? Monday is always probably one of the worst days of the week for everybody, but it's still chilly out there and it still feels like it is spring out there. Let's take a look at the radar and uh, we'll show you that there is at least nothing returning on the radar. That's good news. The rain that we had this morning, uh, the little light rain showers that we had have all kind of hightailed out of here and we may catch a few more sprinkles this afternoon and maybe tonight, but otherwise I think we'll see some partial sunshine through the day today. So at least it'll make it feel a little bit warmer. Partly cloudy on average today. Otherwise chilly. It'll be feeling like spring with a stiff breeze. 59 on the highest hilltops going to 64 with a pretty healthy west wind of 10 to 15 miles per hour. The 60s stay with us for tomorrow, and but we'll go back into the 70s as we round out the week. We'll talk about it in just a few momentos. All right, Dakota, thank you. A city of Jamestown man is accused of striking another man with a baseball bat during an alleged assault at 60 Tower Street on Monday night. Jamestown police say that 54-year-old Richard Harmon was taken into custody on charges of first-degree assault and third-degree possession of a weapon. Harmon is currently awaiting arraignment in city jail. A woman was also arrested during that incident after she was allegedly involved in a domestic dispute between a man and a woman. 32-year-old Jessica Harmon was taken into custody as well on charges of third-degree assault and second-degree harassment. Family, friends, and supporters of Selena Hildalgo Calderon spoke out Tuesday morning about the case of her missing son in Sciotis. A woman there said there's a stigma right now for immigrants trying to call for help. But when we arrive, we don't know our rights and we don't know if we will be protected. The laws don't allow us the freedom to leave to be open about what's going on because we know that what happened if we call for help is that we'll be sent back to our country. The Wayne County Sheriff's Office ended its search Sunday of a wooded area off of Joy Road after crews spent more than a week searching for the 14-month-old Owen Hildalgo Calderon, who was reported missing in May, along with his mother, whose body was found days later wrapped in a plastic bag. Selena's boyfriend, Alberto Reyes, is charged with hiding her body, but not with her death. And the Chautauqua County Office of the Aging has announced coupons for seniors planning on visiting farmers markets this summer. There are requirements though. A senior living alone must have a monthly income of at or below $1,800. Two people living together must have an income at or below $2,500. And coupon books are worth $20 bucks with $5, five coupons worth $4 apiece. Coupons are only accepted at designated farmers markets. For more information, head on over to our site, WNYNewsNow.com. Next here, good news for women with breast cancer. But first, do you use Uber? You may want to listen up. You're watching WNY News Now. This is News Now at noon. Brought to you by the people giving hope at Gifts Decor and More with the controversial Kratom. Gifts Decor and More is giving hope to Southern Chautauqua County residents one visit at a time. The Fitness Bunker in Lakewood is a locally owned and operated club that cares about your health and wellness. They invest in it right now. 
$16 for 16 days will get you in the door. Lose four pounds, your next month is on them. Try a green zone class and maximize your performance. Hot yoga, 24-7 access. Simply walk into Fitness Bunker in Lakewood right now on Summit Avenue. Make an investment in your health and wellness. Fitness Bunker in Lakewood. Find them on Facebook. I just love to be with the dogs and I like to do them one at a time. They don't wait for five hours in my shop. We have full groom, which includes everything from A to Z, nails, of course brushing, tri any trimming that needs to be done. I do offer teeth brushing, which is a little extra. So if he takes me two hours, it's $40. If he takes me three hours, I still keep it down. As long as the dog comes back happy and not at the door, I'm happy. Uber is reminding users of extra steps it's taking to improve passenger safety. The company sent an email to app users Monday highlighting some available safety features. Users can share trip details with trusted contacts and call 911 straight from the app. Uber also said it will rerun background checks on all drivers this year. The company first announced added safety features in April after a report found more than 100 drivers were accused of sexual assault or abuse. Uber also added an emergency button last week for users to quickly share their location with police. Women diagnosed with breast cancer may have more treatment options available to them. A study published over the weekend said that many women with a common form of breast cancer can safely skip chemotherapy. Reed Binion has details. For women diagnosed in the early stages of one of the most common forms of breast cancer, treatment may get a little easier. Genetic tests are enabling researchers to identify multiple types of breast cancer and tailor treatment plans. A recent study suggests some forms of the disease may not even require chemotherapy. The study applies to estrogen-sensitive women with early-stage tumors below 5 centimeters that have not spread to the lymph nodes. These women also have intermediate scores on a genomic test used to inform breast cancer treatment. Doctors had previously been unsure how to treat these patients. Many had been given chemotherapy protectively, but those side effects include weakened immune system, diarrhea, fatigue, hair loss, memory loss, bone loss, and heart and vision problems. In the trial, more than 6,700 patients were randomized into two groups. One received hormone therapy alone, and the other received hormone therapy with chemotherapy. Researchers found that more than 83% of the women using hormone therapy alone had not developed a recurrence or additional primary cancer. The rate for women who had also received chemotherapy was more than 84%, a statistically insignificant difference. The survival rate was similar. More than 93% of women from each group beat the cancer. Scientists urge caution in interpreting the trial's results. Tumors tend to be more aggressive in premenopausal women. They should discuss all treatment options with their oncologist. For today's Health Minute, I'm Reed Binion. And another live look at our Third Street camera, soaking up the sunshine out there. Chief forecaster Dakota Hunter has details on our forecast. Right now. The weather is heating up and so are the deals at Express Bike and Auto right here in Jamestown located at 1761 Foot Avenue Extension. They are your one-stop shop for all of your vehicle, ATV, and motorcycle needs. They even sell vehicles and guess what? Financing is available. So what are you waiting for? Get to Express Bike and Auto right here in Jamestown at 1761 Foot Avenue Extension now. First Defense Weather is sponsored by Quick Solutions of Jamestown. Count on Quick Solutions for printing, copying, mass mailings, and so much more. Part of your team. Learn more at quicksolutionsusa.com. That's quicksolutionsusa.com. First Defense Weather, the Southern Tier's only live and local weather source. Now, here's Chief Forecaster Dakota Hunter. And welcome back to News Now at Noon. Let's kick off this weather segment with the Sky Vision Camera Network. That is the camera in downtown Olean overlooking Union Street. It's 63 degrees with a north wind of 2, and they've picked up 0.05 inches of rain so far today. That's a 24-hour rainfall total. Now let's take a look at the pollens. If you've been sneezing or sniffling, it is pollen season. So here are the current pollen levels. The tree pollen has came down a little bit. It's now moderate, and the grass pollen is now running moderate as well. The reed pollen is still low, and mold is not 
not counted. But again, yeah, if you're still sneezing and stuff, the top allergy is actually is grass and oak. So yeah, if you've been sneezing or sniffling, yeah, it's allergy season, guys. Now, if you want to get out on the water uh, um, pretty much uh, for this afternoon, not too bad, but I wouldn't want to go swimming because it's going to be really chilly. The water temperatures, it's tied. It's 58 degrees off both Buffalo and Erie, Pennsylvania. Winds about 5 to 10 knots throughout the afternoon, creating wave heights of around 2 to 3 feet. But it's chilly today, so I wouldn't want to go out swimming. But maybe if you want to take a boat out on Lake Erie, might not be a bad uh, day for that. On Doppler Vision, you can see this is the rain that kind of moved through the area pretty much uh pretty much earlier this morning that's out to our east and why are we so cool it's this cold front that is plowing through the region there's a low pressure attached to it right there that's obviously is what caused some of the rain this morning but this cold front continues to move its way out and then as we go into the later part of the week we'll start to get back to where we should be 60 was the high yesterday 52 was the low obviously below average we picked up 0.01 inches of rain at the Jamestown Airport yesterday. Uh, so not a lot of rain to measure there, but it was just a tiny bit. Here we go with future scan. You can see for the remainder of the day, pretty much clear. Now the model is painting a few lighter rain showers. And then as we go into the afternoon, the, the uh, late afternoon into the evening hours, you can see the model paints these widely scattered showers. I wouldn't count on, well, actually I would count on these developing, but again, the model I think is overdoing this. This is the Baron model. And I think it's kind of overdoing some of the rain coverage, especially as we go into later tonight and then into, and then into early tomorrow morning, the rain, you know, I think it'll mainly just be a 20% chance throughout the night in area. That's how we calculate rain chances. Zone by zone for tomorrow, we'll start here. First of all, you can see temperatures at least go up just a couple of degrees, but it's still chilly, still feeling like spring with a north wind of 5 to 10. Of course, with a northerly wind, that means it's going to be chillier because we're going to have cooler air coming in uh, from Canada. Eastward we go, uh, mid-60s out here as well. Sun, sun and clouds share the sky otherwise still feeling like spring how about the next seven days of your life brought to you by quick solutions 73 thursday we finally make it to around where we should be for this time of the year and the 70s will take us through the weekend into early next week again a couple chances of rain saturday and sunday but the majority of the days uh jason jason justin should be mainly dry <laughs> Alrighty, Dakota, thank you. That's it for us here at noon. Be sure to join us right back here at 5 o'clock. And of course, news continues online 24-7 at WNYnewsnow.com. Have a great day.